Hey, bro, I think that's a car. What are you talking about, bro? There's no car. Yeah, yeah, nah, dude, that's that car is coming, bro. Yeah. Oh, yo, oh, you good? Nah, we good, we good. I've been drinking and driving and surviving. Pay my sorrow and bury me alive. In it. Wear your best dress, girl, cause you're gonna die in a bet you regret the day that you lied in. Oh. This story takes place during the absolute fiend chapters. These are the days that we would do anything for nicotine. Anything? Bro, no! Ugh. Anyways, it was summer vacation, and me and my boy, we're gonna call him Stark, we were chilling at his crib. And you know, we were chilling on the couch, watching some TV, when the worst thing ever happened. Yo, bro, can I rip your air bar? Oh yeah, I got you, bro, here you go. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, bro, oh my god. No, it, bl it blinked. No! Fuck! No! I mean, shit, we've all been there. When you're young and you have a crippling fucking nicotine addiction, the only way you can get nicotine is through a nick plug. Yeah, some pretty badass people. So, you know, we hit up the local nick plug, Craigly, and personally, I wouldn't step within 10 feet of this motherfucker. You know he keep that motherfucking fang on. I'm just fucking with you. Craigly was a bitch. I can't tell you the amount of times that we straight up just robbed this kid. He didn't even have the balls to do anything about it, so usually we just get away with free nick. But unfortunately, on this day, Craigley wasn't around, so we had to go to Plan B, which was Stark's older brother, Jark. Jark. Jark was a fucking G. Jark would supply us with the goddamn jewel pods. But unfortunately, Jark was out of the fucking state, so we were kind of fucked. So we had to resort to Plan C. You never want to resort to Plan C. Plan C is fucking terrible. Plan C was basically me saying, Hey, uh, I think I left some vape juice at my dad's house, uh, across the city, we could walk there and maybe find it if it's still there. And even if we did do that, all we had to put the vape juice in was a soaring air and the fucking pod was burnt, bro. Y'all got it easy now. You think when dispos burn, they're bad? Nah, dude, have you ever burnt a Soren air pod? That shit tastes like a campfire. But hey, we were running out of options, so we decided to go with Plan C. We start off on our absolute fucking adventure across the city. In hopes, in fucking hopes that I left, like, maybe a little sliver of vape juice. Luckily, we found a little bit of weed in Stark's basement and a backwood, so, you know, we rolled up the shittiest fucking blunt of all time. I mean, this shit was terrible, bro. But at the time, we were freshmen in high school, and we got high as fuck. We start trooping. Cherry on top? It's like fucking 90 degrees outside and it's humid as shit, bro. We are sweating balls. And we're like, damn, we might have to low-key stop like inside a fucking gas station or something and get some bev. Hello, uh, yeah, Jim? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to hang up on you real quick. I got some, uh, sweaty high kids walking in. Can I help you gentlemen find anything? Uh, do you have Powerade or Gatorade or something along those lines, man? Yeah, right in that cooler over there. Ah, thank you, brother man. So the Bev is secured, and we continue on our journey. Now, my high ass thought it would be a good idea to take a little shortcut. So me and Stark cut through the woods. You know, we're walking through the woods, it's all fine, until we hit the dreaded fucking briar bush. If y'all don't know what the briar bush is, it's basically a... a Fuck, it. it's a bush, and it has a bunch of thorns sticking out of it. And I'm wearing some loose-ass basketball shorts. I cut through that shit, it rips my fucking shorts, and it cuts the fuck out of my thighs. So if you thought we were looking suspicious before, think again. We are sweating high as fuck, dripping fucking Gatorade, my shorts are ripped, and I'm fucking- my legs are just bleeding. But we're close. There's only one more main road that we have to cross to get to my dad's house. Hopefully he's not home. Hopefully I have some fucking vape juice there. Quite honestly, this video is basically a PSA to not fucking smoke nicotine. Look at 14 year old me. Look at him. Bleeding. Sad. High. And going through withdrawals. Stark wasn't faring any better. He was basically in the same fucking state I was in. And we try to cross this fucking road and it goes terribly. Yo, look left. Look right. Then look left again. Alright, bro, we're good, we're good. Run! Run! Our entire lives flashed before our eyes. We actually almost fucking died. If we took one extra step, our organs would be in a fucking pothole. But we make it across the street. Our journey is almost complete. Damn, that right. We get up to my dad's house, and luckily, nobody's home. And I'm searching, man. I'm searching through the cupboards. I'm searching through the fucking drawers. You find anything yet? Nah, not yet. Alright, I'll keep looking. Oh my god! I found it! You found it? Salt Nick! 
50. Let's go. The mission was a goddamn success. And we fill up this three month old burnt Soren AirPod and we take a hit. Oh, what's that? Is it peace? Bliss? Oh, it's nausea. This shit was fucking disgusting. Without a doubt, hands down, the worst fucking thing I have ever hit in my entire life to this fucking day. Moral of the story, um, don't develop a nicotine addiction. And if you do develop a nicotine addiction, don't, don't walk across the city and almost die for a burnt sore AirPod and some shitty salt nick. I guess. I don't know. Alright. Bye. First things first, let me get that introduction. We on a long road of self-destruction. You so in love, you weren't gonna tell me nothing. Let me get this kiss. Cause I had no idea. Feel like I did too much. Feel like I did too much. Let's get naughty. Feel like I did too much. Feel like I did too much.